Hello, my hair looks crazy. But welcome back to my channel. I have like a new camera, so like I have like a nice little setup recording thing. Freaking weekend one of non-touching, coming close to people, coronavirus thing. So I haven't left my apartment like I don't do every weekend because I don't have any friends where I live, but like I'm just gonna film another video. But this time I'm gonna drink why I do it? This is just wine, and if you are not over 21 in the United States, you should not drink. That's illegal. I'm 22, so like I'm allowed to do it. So I got the new Boxy Charm Boxy Lux, and I am going to unbox it, even though I freaking opened it like a week ago. And I'm going to show you guys what's in it, even though I literally am already wearing something that's in it, aka hair tags. My hair is a fucking. My hair is a disaster right now. Let's just unbox. Let's just do some unboxing. We'll get ready while we unbox. I think that's like a new little switch up that like people don't usually do. They usually like unbox everything and then try it on. But I'm going to try on as we unbox. I'm using Jeffree Star's Bloodlust palette as a mount. So first thing in my box is are these Invisibobble Traceless Hair Rings. They're these little, they come in this little tiny box, tiny, super small. They look like this. Now I want to wash my face and I really want to use this PMD like vibrating sonic cleansing device thing. So let's just open this and jump right into washing my face because I haven't done that today. And it's 4.23 p.m. Is this like a... Wait, what? Oh, it comes with like a little stand so then like it like stands up. Okay. I know something else with those same settings. Let's wash my face. Thing. Let's just do a little pump on there. Stimulate some collagen. No, honestly, this is kind of nice though. Like, I like this. I don't know what's next. Moisture for eyes. That's gonna go on before makeup. There's like a bajillion dollars. That made it into the cup. That was pretty impressive. I'm just gonna use this moisturizer to Cry my whole face. And I really look how red I am. Wow. What? Okay, wow, that kind of hurts. I'm not gonna put these on during this video, but I got Brazilian bum bum cream and cocoa cabana cream cream. I wonder what they smell like. Oh. No, that smells really good though. Wow, okay. The cocoa. Damn, I could eat this. It smells like straight coconut. Okay, yeah. I guess I'm gonna do like because I got eyeshadow. So I guess I'm gonna do like my foundation and brows and stuff off camera. And I'll come back to you looking like a real person here in a minute. So like, okay, bye. I'm like a whole new person. I have like my hair down, like my little scrunchy thing on my wrists now. Cause I don't need to put my hair up cause it's straight. But now I have like eyebrows and like foundation, contour. Oh my God. So now we're gonna dip into this Hello, Hello Charmer eyeshadow palette. Yeah, I'm just like, okay, yes, go off, boxy charm. We're just gonna like dip into Cup of Joe. I think that's like their CEO, Joe. Would you go off, King. I put like eyeshadow primer on because if you don't prime your lids, then like. Okay, let's look and see what color my lipstick is. Oh, and it's like hot pink. So that's my color. Boxy jar always sends me lip shades like this and they are so not my shade. This is not my shade, but thank you anyways, boxy jar. Okay, now straw. Under eye, cup of joe. And you get demonetized if you talk about the Rona. I'm gonna put a little bit of pop up from like like that one into my brow bone. Oh wow, wow, look at that freaking highlight. Yeah, this queen go up. Not the worst, not the best. Boxy, this like white transition shade. Transition, we're gonna transition it right here. Pause break for this Becca highlighter. 
I cannot stand this. I'm so annoyed with it. It looks so bad. Okay, highlighter. Look at that. Okay. This is literally just taking off my... Oh my god. I will say this is more of a dewy glow. Not like a shimmer glow, which like I kind of like. But like I also don't like the fact that when I put it on my skin, it literally just like tore off everything that was like already on my skin. And I will say this was like a very, very, very underwhelming boxy lux for like $50. Like I was so not impressed. There was just, everything was so small in its packaging, which like I get that like size is not like the only thing that matters. But I just want to be done with this eye look. I'm so over it. Hold on, I'm going to FaceTime Lauren. I'm gonna put exclusive in the corners. I wish you could leave like a voicemail, but like a video message, you know? I'll leave her a Snapchat. <laughs> I was trying to feature you in my video. Not gonna answer me. I Snapchat someone and they go, are you going out? No. <laughs> I just wear freaking hot pink eyeshadow or lipstick for fun. For fun. Okay. Home stretch. We'll put sneak peek in the inner corner. Someone else was texting me. That's what he said. Not too much, dot dot dot. Just playing some Xbox. Oh well. Fun. Me carrying the conversation. Should I do winged eyelid? I'm not even gonna finish that sentence. Of course I'm going to. Be right back. Bye. Wait, on a serious note, my camera keeps telling me insufficient space on card, and that is literal such bull. Any hoosies? I have these earrings that I was in the process of putting in that are by Zaxi by Stephanie Taylor that I'm just gonna put on with my Tana Mojo Dizzy hoodie to just complete the look. Um, yeah, this is like my finished look. I put on some lip gloss to cover up the atrocity that was that hot pink lipstick that I absolutely cannot stand because it was so ugly. Okay, like, go off. Dizzy. <laughs> by Dizzy. <laughs> so like, I guess this is where I read the prices of the products. Um, the moisturizer I used to my eyes was $70. The creams that smelled like heaven were $15. The eyeshadow palette was $39. The little vibrator for my face was $99. The ugly ass lipstick pigment was $25. The highlighter that didn't really work that well was $28. The hair bands that I'm obsessed with were $8. The little diamond hoop earrings were $32. I'm not gonna do the math, but my friends and I did the math previously and it was like over $300. So like this is my final look and honestly I just feel like literally not even half of this was from that box. <laughs> But like I'm still gonna take like a thumbnail and post it on my video and be like, ah ha ha, Katie gets drunk and then like that's like a YouTube video. Ah. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> wow, okay. So like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have 206 subscribers and my blue eyes match this blue hoodie. So it's just like all the more reason why you should follow me. My winged eyeliner turned out better than it ever has in my entire life. So like like and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you bye <laughs> i'm just kidding that was bad outro like and subscribe to my youtube channel uh press that bell so you get notifications every time i post a video and bye